Look what came in the mail. 64 megabyte laptop memory for the compact Armada. So let's upgrade the laptop in this video. I bought this 64 megabyte compact memory module for 20 euro on eBay including the shipping. So that was not that expensive. And I really love how they packed it in a little anti-static bag and a good sticker on it with correct information and a barcode that really shows that they are really serious with their business because they did a good job with uh, packing it I will give them a shout out and they didn't sponsor me or send it for free or something but I bought it on the Rumco uh, memory shop in uh, Germany and I will link it down in the description and also a link to their eBay shop because I think they are affordable and serious with uh, what they do. So uh, let's open the little tiny anti-static bag. Very nice module and the compact number is 262262002. The memory door is at the bottom of the laptop. And you need to remove this screw here and then slide to the side and then it will come off. The motherboard has 60 megabyte onboard memory and we have two memory banks and there's already a 64 megabyte memory module installed in this slot. So we will put the other stick in here. So we have 144 megabyte of memory in a Pentium 150 MMX. So that is a really nice amount of memory. The installation is really simple. Just push it in and click it down. Let's see if the memory module will work. And we have 144 megabytes of memory. Yes, that was easy. The following configuration options were automatically updated. Total memory installed 147456 kilobytes. F1 save changes, ignore changes or computer setup. F1. Yes, it has detected the 144 megabytes of RAM. I found the perfect accessory to go with this laptop. A parallel port zip drive. Look how cool this is together. Let's install it. I found the drivers online so I hope they work. I already copied them over by the network. And in the instructions were that you first install the IOware tools and then connect the zip drive. So let's try it out if it works. Let's see what happens if we connect the zip drive to the parallel port. Let's power up the zip drive. Not sure if this unit works because I never tried it. It has a zip disk already in it, so let's take it out. And there it goes. Win95 L10C drivers. Not sure what they put on it. And this drive is a little bit dirty, so let's hope it still works. Let's reboot the system first. The zip drive is not showing up, so maybe we need to install it by hand. Okay, let's add some new hardware, let's see if that works. I don't think it will auto detect the zip drive, but let's try. Okay, didn't find any new hardware. So let's see if we can find the zip drive in here. You make a parallel port interface, you make a jazz. Let's try the parallel port interface. We have the zip drive here, so let's try it out. It's working, yes. <laughs> we have a Premiere 6.0 beta expiracy crack zip password. <laughs> and we have Premiere 6 here and we have we have some illegal software on this uh, zip disk. So let's <laughs> install it. <laughs> uh, let's let's copy it to the hard drive. 
And then we can also see how fast and parallel zip drive is. 7 minutes, 6 minutes remaining. How big was that file? A 23 megabyte. So it's not that fast, but also not really slow. Okay, Premiere is copied. So uh, extract with WinZip. Yeah, let's use the evaluation uh, version. And this software piracy that's now going on is only for demonstration purposes and not to steal software. Ah, wait. Of course, there's a serial Pentake stay. I'm not sure if a Pentium 150MMX will run Premiere 6.0, but we now have 144 megabytes of memory. So that will be probably more than enough, but let's see if this will work. And of course, Windows needs to be restarted. Or, or is it retarded? So, programs, Adobe. I didn't install the crack yet, so let's see what happens when we open the software. Maybe it's a 30 day free version. And then we are not a pirate. Windows ME, MMX detected, version 6 beta. That looks a bit the same as my Premiere uh, CC that I'm uh, using. There's a little bit cramped timeline. I normally edit on a 20 inch Quad HD screen. So this is a bit, uh, bit more difficult. So let's import some files. Let's go to the program files, Adobe, Premiere. And here in the tour we have some files. So Okay, we loaded some example footage, so let's drag a clip to the timeline here, and here another clip. Okay, we can play it back. And now I want to have a cross dissolve or some effect between the clips to show that it is working on this machine. Show transitions, so let's put a cross dissolve here. Okay. Let's play it back. It was stuttering while doing cross dissolve. So let's render out the cross dissolve. <laughs> Frame 1 of 275. <laughs> uh, frame 2. Time remaining. 44 minutes. Uh, I don't think this is the best laptop for video editing. I'm not sure why, but it's just... Maybe a bit slow. This will probably take forever and it's way too nice weather outside to nerd out about this beautiful compact laptop. So I think I will go for a run and let the laptop just do its thing. Because it's working but it's just too slow. <sighs> One hour later and this laptop is still busy. No, I'm just kidding. It it finished it, so let's see if it will play back. Ah, beautiful! And it worked! So this laptop is fast enough to play back the small video files here. And after rendering out the transitions, that also plays back. So it works for video editing. But now we need to render out the final the final masterpiece and will be a uh, Microsoft AVI 640x480 but uh, files only were 240x180 uh, so I'm upscaling it Cinepack compression so let's uh, let's see if this will work okay it already did one frame and also 15 minutes remaining so last time it rendered out the whole project so let's come back when the export is finished and see if we can play back the result on this laptop. Okay, the video is finished and without any errors or crashes. So eat that Premiere 2018 and 2019, your piece of peep! What a masterpiece I have created.
Nice, the clip also plays back in Windows Media Player. I really enjoy this compact machine. Uh, it performs uh, pretty good for a uh, Pentium MMX. And I think it's a nice change that I showed some software running on it instead of a game. Premiere works pretty okay, the rendering times were not that great, for 10 seconds it was 45 minutes. But I want to reinstall the system and I think after the reinstall I'm gonna use Adobe Premiere 5.1, that is an older version of this one. And for this one I have the complete package sealed up, unused with the license. So this is legal software and also I have a monthly subscription to Premiere Pro so I'm an Adobe user. I have a crazy plan because I have a Sony FD83 floppy camera that shoots 320 by 240 video on a diskette. So if I combine this camera and this laptop I can make videos like it's the 90s. I think that will make an awesome video but I have a problem and I need your help for it. Because I don't have a floppy drive with this machine. I only have the CD player and that is uh, swappable uh, with the floppy drive. So it must be a unit like this. So I'm looking for a floppy drive for the Compaq Armada 7000 series. 5000 series floppy drive doesn't fit because the connector is on the other position. So what I like to know is the uh, type number of the floppy drive. Or if someone has a floppy drive laying around and want to help me out, contact me and uh, we will make it work. Because I really love to have a floppy drive with this machine. I also want to upgrade the hard drive of this system. But the BIOS tools are on a special partition on the hard drive. And I didn't have the recovery software of this machine. But on the Retro Machines Facebook group, uh, Jay Wakefield uh, gave me the ISO of the uh, CD-ROM that came with the system. So thank you Jay. And Jay also has a YouTube channel and I will link his channel down in the description. Please check him out. He makes also videos about old computers. And if you want to have the recovery tools of Compact, please join Retro Machines and go to uh, the post about this machine and you will find a link. But to install the special tools on the hard drive, I probably need to make floppies from the CD. So I really need to have the floppy drive for this machine. So please help me out with the floppy drive or the type number of the floppy drive. Because I need to have floppy support for this machine and the camera. So I can make a really awesome video. If you like cameras, lenses and filmmaking you can check out my second channel Dutch Video Shooter. And I just reached 2000 subscribers on the channel. So the channel gets bigger now and I really love all the comments and the support I get from you all. So thank you and please check out Dutch Video Shooter. Because I think I will uh, do the video with the floppy camera on Dutch Video Shooter. And maybe a behind the scenes on Retro Machine. So let me know what you think about that plan. So if you are new here on the channel and you are interested in more information about this machine because I got it from a dumpster, my previous video about this machine is how I test it out and I will uh, link it in the end screen and also in the description. So thanks for watching, please like and share this video, subscribe and leave a comment. You can join Retro Machines on Facebook and support me monthly on Patreon. And if you want to uh, help me, you can also use Amazon affiliated links and they are also down in the description.